Yeah. Um. So, it actually started. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Yeah, it started right with a match. Um, Matt Riddle, bro. Yeah, bro. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> and he actually went. I never. He went against this new guy that I. Um, Arturo Run. No. Ruiz? I've said runs. <laughs> it's a Ruiz. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he must run then. <laughs> I mean, they. Well, I mean, he had those things like Rusa did on his feet with the whiteness. And, and yeah. So. But they were going at it. Matt Riddle won. He won. He did his high knee, and then he was just punching and punching me, and the winning by a knockout because he passed out. So, and then after the match, um, Killian Dane. I think he's from the Insanity. Yeah, I think he's from the Insanity. He came and attacked Riddle from behind. Then he um ran to the steel post, fallen to the ground outside punching him outside and he took him all the way to the stage and then he went back and then he ran to him and like sl power slammed him through the floor and then they asked him to leave so well, it looks like Killian Dane wants to have a rivalry with Matt Riddle so Matt Riddle mm -hmm. versus I don't really know what we can call Killian Dane I don't know. Mm. But, and then they were showing a film that a fan film last Saturday of Mia Yim attacking Marina, <laughs> one of uh, Shannon Basler's buddies, because she, she's trying to make a statement that she wants the championship. So that was that. Um, and then they, again, they showed again EO, they showed what she did last week. And so, um, it's going to be Io Shirari next week versus Casey Catazzaro? Catazzaro. Yeah, I think we've seen her before. We've seen Casey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah when she came out. Yeah, she looked almost like a sweet-looking one. I think almost like A.G. Lee, but she didn't skip. Yeah, I remember because she was coming down and she was like all preppy. Yeah. Yeah, it was her. I think it's, it's her. Um, and then... It's it's because it's, it's not that other one. No. Then, okay. Now, this is the next match is the last first round match of the Breakout Star Tournament. You got Dexter Loomis. He had jeans and shoes. No shirt. Versus <laughs> Bronson Reed. I miss these first names like that. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, Justin, he was watching at his house. He's like, who is this Samoa Joe wannabe looking thing? He called him Samoa Joe. <laughs> well, that, but you gotta admit, he did pretty good. Yeah, he did pretty good for a big guy. But, and he won. Of course. He, he did pretty good. He's kind of like, what is his name, Otis? <laughs> yeah, well. I'm surprised he didn't do kind of moves like him. He, she says he's Otis. Justin says he's Samoa Joe. But, Bronzer Reed, he, he took his straps down. And then... He um, went to the top and then did a super splash for the win. That was pretty good. He did pretty, pretty good. He did, yeah, I would say so. He did a lot of good moves, too, for a big guy. Yeah. And then I showed an interview with Tyler Breeze. Um, of course. He was, mm -hmm. Yeah, he was talking. Yeah. He's like, yeah, you can walk. I'm, I'm looking at my phone. Go ahead. And then he's pretty much talking how about NXT and whatever. And then he got interrupted by the Forgotten Sons. And then he's talk they were talking and then all of a sudden, um Oh, I know who you are. You're um to Riker, he's like, Your buddy your your buddy Murphy, right? They got all pissed off. He goes right face to face and then the one Forgotten Son is like, You never seen a man like this before. This is Riker. He's a savage. And then I think Tyler said something, and then he walked off. I think he said he's seen some, seen some, seen it before, and he walked off. Yeah. So, yeah. I think he was talking about that, and then. So they, there might be a match with those two, probably. Oof. I Forgot don't know. something with Tyler Breeze. I like a little thing. Oh man! So Gainus versus them. Yeah. Okay. Oh bye. <laughs> um. And then the next match 
was that new superstar. It's not really new now because he's been there a month now, I would say. Kushida verse. Oh my god. Apollo, Apollo Crews. What the? He was on Raw SmackDown. Now he's on NXT. He's like back on NXT. Just like Tubber, he's back on NXT. Yeah, they kept saying, welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah. Uh, this was a good match. Really good match. He, he, Paolo show, see what I mean? Paolo show how good he is in NXT. But when he was in Raw SmackDown, he did he, he lost more of his matches. It's like... But... But they both did good. Paolo, he tried. But Casita won. Um, and to being like... Um, I know Kushida, he did like a cartwheel to a baseball dropkick. And then he did a tornado DDT, so he pinned, but Apollo Crews kicked out of it. And then, um, him right here. Run, yeah, and then he runs, because he's in the ramp rope, and then he runs, and he runs into a big boot by Apollo Crews. Crews pins, kick out. Um, and then Cruz gives him, um, German suplexes, and then he did the shooting star press, I'll stop rope, and then he pinned, kicked out, um, and then Kushida reverses to the turnbuckle, and he does a springboard hurricanrana, and then, um, Paul Cruz countered into, like, a pin type thing, and then kick out, and then... Cruz on the top, Kushida's going to him, turns into a submission, like he slams him, he turns him into a submission hole in his arm, um, and he made it like into a double wrist lock, he turned into a double wrist lock and made him tap, so, that was a good match. Uh, yeah, for being gone for so, for a while, I guess, and then come back, put a lot of effort. Yeah, they both shook hands and hugged it out for respect. And then there was an interview with Keith Lee. He pretty much was saying, <laughs> he's like, opportunity is the key word. He's saying, he heard, lay down my feet, passed over for newcomers. He's pretty much saying that he's been there and he's not getting nothing, but all these newcomers are getting everything and he's not. That's pretty much what he's saying. Yeah, he's like, everybody's getting more chances like, than him. It's about, there's eight guys in a tournament, they're getting a title, the new faces, Damien, this Damien Priest, yeah. funnier, it should be him, not hit, not Damien, so, and then he's like, yeah, yeah, that's a plan, I'll, I'll do that, and he walks away, so it's gonna be next week, Keith Lee versus Damien Priest, ooh, that shouldn't be a good match. And then, like, ten minutes at uh, end of NXT, we have Adam Cole coming out. Gay gay. <laughs> and he goes, oh, I've been traveling to the baby tour. Have a blast being gay. And then he shows us morons, what a champion is, the power is, and then goes, my old guy, my boys took care of business. Whatever. And then... And then he goes, I'm ready to put my title on the line. I'm ready. And then I'm going to go against this man. And he shows um, Gargano talking with these people at the performance center. And it was this guy named, um, what's his name? Twan Tucker. And he goes, Twan Tucker, come on out. And then he come, the Twan guy comes out. But before that, they showed, like, a, did they... Just showed that little video, right? With um, Johnny Gargando. I just said that. I'm thing. so sorry. <laughs> I'm just a little out of it right now for a minute there. Because I was just listening. Yeah, I, was, I just, I said. Because I don't care about Adam Cole. So I'm just, she was talking about Adam Cole. So I was like, who cares about Adam Cole? Yeah, I was saying it because he showed with Gargano and Twan Tucker. And then Twan Tucker comes out. And then. Um. Cole, I'm giving you an opportunity of a lifetime. There's no yeah. era. It's just me and you. Maybe I'll let you slap the taste out of my mouth. Yeah. I didn't bring nobody. No backup. And then he goes, So you're not alone. Yeah. Well, that's too bad because I didn't come alone. 
And then you hear Gargano's music hit. He's running yep. after them. He's fighting them. Blah, blah, blah. He's kicking them. They're in the audience and everything. And then, um, whatnot. And just all over. The ref finally got, and then they went to the stage. And then the ref's telling them to go away, so he goes away. Yep. Cole's holding the title, and then Gargano runs back. Tackles on. Yeah, he's he, Johnny Gargano, and then they, they said he, he was pissed off he or was something. Pissed off. Pissed off Garganto. And then he took him back in the ring, and then he did like two kicks, and then he put him in the Gargano escape. And he was tapping, trying to get him off, and then he headed out of the ring, and when he was at, walking out of the ring, he was like, three, three, three. He wants that type of chip. He's pissed off at you, uh, Adam Cole. Oh yeah. So. That was NXT. Yeah, that, right? that was that was a little. NXT was pretty crazy. good. It was really good. Oh, yeah, she was talking about Adam Cole. I'm, I I kind of zoned out there for a minute because because <laughs> who wants to listen to gayness? No. You know, Sandra would be like, "Yay!" Yeah, Sandra, I love Adam Cole. Oh yeah, she would. <laughs> yeah, she likes Adam Cole. She likes John Cena. Oh, she likes I don't know any other guy superstar she likes. Yeah, I have no idea. Well, she likes Roman Reigns. Yeah, no, he's mine. <laughs> she likes you got you got that gayness. Cause I I asked her, I asked Santa, I was like, who do you have the shield that's your favorite? Roman Reigns. I won't go find fight Missy for him. Yeah, and she'll lose. <laughs> we get the Superman punch. <laughs> but yeah, that was NXT. How did you thought of NXT? Yeah. Did you like the Adam Cole thing? Are you do you want to see Gargano get the title back, or do you want Adam Cole to keep it? Are you happy to, mm. you've seen Apollo Crews? You want to see Keith Lee maybe eventually getting back into it or? Well, he is getting back into it. Well, I know, but I mean, because he's sitting there saying yeah. how he he's getting pushed aside a lot. So, I mean, like, see him in more matches. Are you looking forward to seeing the next rounds of the Breakout Star Tournament? There's now two matches and then the finals. I don't remember who the people are left. Do you want to see Keith Lee go against, uh, what's his name? Bronze, bronze, Reed? Was that that? That's that big guy, right? Yeah, Bronze and Reed. You see those Just, two go at it. See who's better. It's like on um, what is it? Raw? How Bob Booby Lash? Like you say, Booby Lashley. Lashley. Um, like how he went against Braun Strowman. So do you think maybe um Keith Lee and this uh, Bronson guy go at it? Maybe yeah. see who's got it better. Okay, I don't know. Just let us know. Yeah. I like to hear. We like to hear from you. I learned but dumb. Do you like these new guys? Do you like it? Do you like NXT? Do you want to see some girl matches eventually in that? I mean, <laughs> was there even a girl match? No, there's never any girl matches in 205 or any. Well, they don't really have 205 for girls. I mean, they should. But... That's what I'm saying. I Raw mean, and SmackDown are the only the ones. The girls can go against the 205 superstars. They only weigh like 100 and something. Yeah. Put some girl matches in here. <laughs> Do you want to see the girls on 205 Live? They'll go against the girl. The only girl Live. matches that um they have are like Mia Yim and stuff like that. And yeah, Ashirari. Yeah, that's all I see. You need more girl matches in there. Yeah. But, but yeah. I don't recall any in NXT. I don't think there is any. What? Like, you should at least put one girl match in each one. No matter what. No, they do put girl matches for NXT. It's just, it's just rare sometimes. That's what I'm saying. They need to put more girl matches. Put at least, at least you can have all your guy matches, whatever, but at least put one girl match per show. I'm pretty sure it'll be good. Is this, they don't do it for 205 Live because it's only crew one Cruiserweight Championship. That's why. But I'm pretty sure girls, the girls can handle the Cruiserweight Championship, people. Yeah. They're only 100-something pounds. Not like the Braun Strowman. That's why I said at least one girl match. Like, per... Okay, can you see Bailey going against who's the champion? Drew Gulak? Bailey going against Drew Gulak? I can. Do you can you see um Night oh Night Jack? Okay, Night Jack's big, right? Yeah. She 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 can probably she'll probably demol demolish freaking the two or five live people. But she's over. All she gotta do is look at him and bump well, him. <laughs> she's actually she might be the weight, so she might not be able to. But still, she can go against a men title, so. Mm -hmm. But, hello! Yeah, sorry about that. But anyway, yeah, what I was saying, 
put the cruiser weight. Yeah. Put some girls in it. I, th yeah, I think the on, girl, I, I believe in the girls. They can go against the girls. That's why you need at least one girl max per show. No matter what. I just like to see. See it. That'd be cool. Put a leg if you think it too. Yeah. Girls should be in 205 Live. I mean, I said I was talking about woman tag team. They have that now. I was talking about. I was talking about Iowa Oscar and Kari Shane. They're a team now. Now you just need Iowa Shirelli just to. Now I'm saying girls in 205 Live. Yeah, come on. Bring, bring in some girl matches, man. So. Not just make it, well, yeah, we, we're we girls. We love watching men, yeah, do that. But you got some guys, too. You know, they're going to want to watch some girl matches, like her dad. <laughs> <laughs> he likes watching the girl matches. Yeah. We all know he does. Even though he don't watch 205 Live, but. No, but. But anyway. Yeah, so just let us know, and that's it. So yeah. make sure you like. Comment. And subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.